Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going back racing. It's still gonna be the first points race of the fall season. Uh, it turns out this whole fall season is gonna be eighth mile instead of quarter mile. Uh, so we're gonna have some new challenges there, but mainly we're, uh, I guess just looking for uh, consistency in our launch and not spinning after we made the chassis adjustment. Um, but yeah, we're about to go over to my dad's house, get the car loaded up. Should be a good day racing. It's gonna be really cool. It's probably gonna be high 60s by uh, the first time trial. So really cool morning, cold track. Really put to the test uh, our chassis work we did, but let's get going over there and load her up. All right, it is a cool 40 degrees out here. So let the car idle and warm up a little bit more than what we typically do. Uh, we loaded up on the trailer. This thing's not really cold blooded, but be a little bit easier on it. Hopefully, it holds some heat before we get to the track so it's not as cold blooded there. Driving down the highway in 40 degree weather, but I thought it'd warm up just a little bit longer and then uh, we'll go load it up on the trailer. Alright, we're all loaded up, strapped down, ready to roll. Car's looking really good on those lowering blocks so yeah we'll go see at the track and hopefully we can make some good passes today all right here at the track about to get the car unstrapped probably not gonna get off the trailer yet it's got a little while before we even need to start warming it up because here a little early and time trial started at 11 but yeah we're gonna get unstrapped cool and, this morning yeah yeah real cool real cool this morning it looks like uh the track prep is I mean, I wouldn't say it's prepped, but they cleaned a lot of the... They scraped it. They scraped a lot of the gummy, you know, tire marbles and everything off it. So, hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully you can uh, take advantage of that. But we're going to get strapped and then uh, let you know when we unload the car. Well, good morning. It's just after 10. We got the car. We're going to take it and warm it up a little bit. Yeah. Beautiful day. It's going to be a little, a little crisper than normal. Uh... I think by 11 it's supposed to be a mid 60s, low 60s. So yeah, we'll see how we do in the cooler weather. But the car doesn't seem to care. It doesn't <laughs> seem to care too much. No. no. Yeah. All right. So they just announced uh, we got one time trial today. Uh, usually on Saturdays we get two, but for some reason we're only getting uh, one today. But it's what it is. But so put a little more heat back in the car uh, sat a little bit lost some heat so getting it warmed up we're gonna be calling the get called in the lane here pretty quick and uh get racing see up, see up the lanes all right as soon as these junior dragsters go we're up yep one time trial today so now make it count yeah make it count hopefully in the first track we'll uh help a little bit but... yeah see you again
saw them spraying some prep on the track, but I wasn't sure, but yes, that's exactly what we needed for a time trial. So, see that slip? I think it said 788, which might be one of our best ever, but I don't know. So, see it and uh, get our dial in. How'd you do? Is that, did I see that right there putting some prep down? I filmed it because I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, 167, 60 foot. Uh, I think that's our best eighth mile ever. Yeah, I think so 788 too. 788 with a two. 788 with a two, all right. Hey. Yeah, so that was the information we needed. I had a decent light, 0.056. Okay, so, so that tells me with that prep and everything, that's 167, 60 foot's about our best and that's what this car can do, so that's good news. Uh, so I would say dial a 788, even if we hook it, I don't see why I couldn't go that number. Yeah. And if we go 7.9, you know, it's only a couple hundreds. So okay. let's run with it. Good job. Okay, we're going to race our buddy in the Challenger. Got 7.5. Yeah, because uh, 7.88. Being the Hellcat, he can, he can run 11.0 in the quarter, so he's pretty much just sandbag in the race. Like yeah, so the rules say 7.5 is the quickest, so that's where he's at. So being eighth, we're, the times are a lot closer than uh, what they normally are. So yeah. it'll, it'll be a good race. It'll be interesting. Our, I would say our lights are pretty similar a lot of the time. You know, we have a red lights and whatnot, but it's, it should be a good race. All right, see what you do. Good luck. So I don't I don't know how that happened, but I remember that he cut a great light. Yeah. But you know, first the worst he broke out. Yeah. Hey. So what was your 60 foot there? 172. Yeah, you spawned. It felt like a wheel hopped almost. I don't know why. Yeah, it sounded bad. I don't know. We'll uh, look at the video. Um but I was only 300s off my time. Oh, you ran your number? 300s off, yeah. So seven, horrible 791 or what? 791.7. Okay. Yeah. All right. We buy him back in. Yeah, because that was close. And I don't know what. I don't know what happened with that burnout. Okay. All right. We'll look at the tape. All right. All right. Hey, Ricky. Oh, we got our buy back round, and it looks like I'm going against the El Camino behind us. 780 to 790 dialing, so he's only. It's it's close race. That's really nice El Camino. Yeah, right oh, very sharp. Yeah, very clean interior, so, too. Hopefully, we got right lane this time. Uh, I don't know, if heard bad things about the left lane after the last passes, so whether but, they fixed but, it or not, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, they, they did prep it. Yeah. Oh, all right, good luck.
was just frustrating. We thought we fixed the problem, but thought I had a great burn out there, but who knows what happened. So, see you back at the truck. It's tires. That, I don't okay. know what else it... Got a little work to do. And I, I cut a great line, too. Okay, what was your 60 foot? 1795. Oh, yeah, that's bad. I don't know why it spun. I don't know either. You had a really good burnout. What was your light? 0.04. Oh, yeah. It could have been good to enough. his 07. Yeah. Damn it. All right. Yeah. We'll keep. I don't know what to do about that, but. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay, Ricky, tough, tough day, uh, but hey, we learned stuff. Uh, well, we learned, we learned what we did did not help. Well, it helped. It did not fix the not problem. Enough. Not enough. Yeah, it's sort of very promising. That first hit, it would have been a, probably our fastest quarter mile ever. Uh, definitely our quickest eighth, uh, 788, yeah, and a 167, six, 60 foot. Yeah, and typically we're 791, 792 in the eighth, so it's pretty significant. Uh, uh, the air point. was good, and they prepped the track. Yeah, actually prepped it. They they scraped it. Um, there was so much uh, buildup. They scraped all that, and it was excellent shape. And then the later rounds, even though they threw more prep down, I don't know. Um, it, it was still a better track than what we had, like a lot of the season, yeah. and it still spun on it. We so. spun to a seven. I'm sorry, one seventy one sixty foot. Yeah. Thought okay, we don't spin so bad. Then we spun to a one seventy nine. Yeah. Losing first round, buy them back in. Um, so, hey, that's the way it goes. Uh, well, we had a good time. Yep. Uh, hope you enjoyed the bonus footage, uh, 67 Barracuda. Uh, Dave's uh, Barracuda, that, that thing is uh, pretty sweet. He just got it. 440. He's, he's uh, just got it and working the bugs out of it. I think he said he's only got like 15 passes on it, so. Yeah, so he's just getting early. it figured out, and it, it looked pretty good, and he, he won a round. Yeah. Went on to third round. I don't know where he finished, but uh, we left. And uh, we're not going back tomorrow. We got a lot of work to do here. We're gonna we're gonna work on this tour show. I got four cars in here. We're running out of space. Uh, do a timing chain and water pump on this thing. Start on it tomorrow. We don't have all the parts yet. It sounds like next Saturday we're going to uh, Earlville Tri-State Raceway. Yeah. For our first time going there, it's gonna be a test and tune because uh, with our schedule, it's all we. We really want to do the race on Sunday, but it's not going to, um, yeah, we got other commitments, so, or you do anyways, I'm yeah. going to stay home. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got to get some other things done around here, and then we'll have one more weekend left with the duster. Um, so what are we going to do to fix this? Uh, the rest of the year, we're going to just run, run ballast. Run some ballast. And one tractor weight. Yep, yeah, four to four pounds. Yep. It's like it's about just all it needs. It's it's all it needs, and then we'll figure it out. And honestly, we just need tires. These nittos, the nittos aren't working. We've given them all season. We've scaled this car. We've adjusted and adjusted, and yep, yeah. So it's, just, it's the way it goes. It's, it's coming down to the point where you with our good track and all our chassis adjustment, they're still spinning. So it just it's just got to be. It's time. it's the wrong it's the wrong tire, um, but. No problems with the engine so far. I mean, nope. we made a lot of passes and haven't really done anything to it besides. Basic we did valve springs early on. We needed that, yeah, and but then after that, maintenance, oil changes and spark plug. We're probably eh, do we need to pull the cylinder head? Probably <laughs> chase after that problem. But that's winner's problem. Yeah. So we got a lot of stuff to do. This uh, got to get this thing out of here. I think I'm that's done close. stripping it down. We'll get this thing out of here. Get some space back. Get this Taurus done. Yeah, get the other Saturn put back in here so we can start going on that. Yeah, that's that's a whole other thing. And then uh, get working on the truck. Yeah, once the Taurus is done, uh, I think we make some good videos on it. And it's going to be my winter daily. Because yeah. though it's going to be all wheel drive and whatnot. So should be a yeah. good car all around. So we're done with it. That'll be pretty cool. We'll do a video on uh, how we're doing this. Uh, Timing chain and water pump. We've never done that, but yeah, we'll get it. According to a Ford shop, it's about a 13-hour job. So. so double that and we might get it. Yeah. 
I'll just get this done eventually. All right. Well, enough rambling. So, hey, if you like this, uh, please like and subscribe, right? Yep. All righty. Catch you in the next one.